So welcome back to another video. So here we'll be working on a complete topic walkthrough on solving equations. Now, in particular, when it comes to solving equations, we're pretty much focusing on always finding the key variable like x. So when they say solve something, it means make x a subject or make w subject or make whatever is the subject. That's the key idea. Now, what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to go through 10 popular kind of questions that they usually ask in the exam. Okay, there's a couple more advanced ones, but I'll save that for a part two video. In this one, we'll go through straight up 10 questions you will likely see in the paper tomorrow or any other day you see it. So let's go straight into it guys, yeah? Look at example one guys. So here we've got 3x plus one equals 2x plus six. Now what we have here is that we have a, a couple x terms like 3x and 2x and then we have non-x terms. Let's just call it number terms like one and six. Now what we have to do is literally get all the x terms on the left side and the number terms on the right side. So we can see we've got a 2x, which is smaller than 3x. Because it's a plus 2x, if you move across the equal sign, it becomes a minus 2x. So basically we have 3x minus 2x is just x. And if we move the plus 1 across, the equal sign becomes a minus 1. So we've got 6 minus 1 is 5. And that's it. That's example 1 done. Now let's look at example 2. So here we have 4x plus 3 equals 2x plus 7. Let's do the same thing. Let's throw the 2x across the equal sign. So it becomes a minus 2x. So 4x minus 2x is just 2x. And let's throw the plus 3 across. So it becomes a minus 3. So 7 minus 3 is 4. Now we've got 2x equals 4. To get just x, you've got to literally separate the 2 from the x. To do that, you've got to divide 2 across. And now you're left with x equals 2. And that's it. That question is solved. So let's look at example 3 now. Here we've got 5x minus 1 equals 3x plus 19. Now, kind of the same thing, but here I put a little minus sign. So the trick is, let's let's firstly move the x's first, yeah, and then deal with the numbers um, afterwards. So moving 3x across, it will be 5x minus 3x, which is 2x. Now moving a minus 1 across becomes a plus 1. So 19 add 1, guys, is just 20. So now we have 2x equals 20. To get x, you've got to divide it by 2. And that leaves you with x equals 10. That's it, see? So literally, it gets kind of easy after a while. Now, number 4. Here we have x plus 2 equals half x minus 1. Now, a nice little trick here, guys, is to firstly, when you, have a, when you see a fraction, it's always clear the fraction, yeah? Honestly, it helps a lot. So by clearing the fraction, because we've got 2 underneath, we want to essentially multiply everything by what's at the bottom. So in other words, multiply by 2. That'll make that half disappear. If we do that, we're going to get 2x plus 4, and then x minus 2. So everything's been doubled. Now we can do what we did for the previous questions. So let's move the x to the left side, so it becomes 2x minus x, so that's basically 1x. And then if you move the plus 4 across, it becomes minus 4. So minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. Cool. Now example 5. So let's do the same thing again here, guys, yeah? So what we're going to do, we're going to move the minus 5x across equal sign, so it's going to become a plus 5x. So minus 3x at 5x is just plus 2x. And again, if you move the 11 across, it becomes a minus 11. So 3 minus 11 is minus 8. And then dividing everything by 2, well, you're going to get x equals minus 4. So that was good. For number 6, we have 3x minus 15 equals 15 minus, let's say, 2x. Okay, let's do that. Once again, let's move minus 2x across, becomes a plus 2x. 3x add 2x is 5x. Move that minus 15 across, becomes plus 15. So 15 at 15, that's just double 15, that's 30. And finally, for 5x equals 30, if you just divide it by 5, you'll be left with x equals 6. And that's it, that's that question done. Number 7, we have 2 times x minus 3, which is all wrapped up nicely in a bracket, and that equals minus 2. Now the first thing you want to do, before you think about solving an equation, is to expand that, yeah? So let's open up the bracket. Let's times 2 by everything in the bracket. So 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Now all of that equals the right-hand side, which is minus 2. Once again, do the same thing. In this case, you don't even have to worry about the x's. You're going to move the numbers now. So here, we're literally just going to move minus 6 across. And that's going to become minus 2 add 6, which is a plus 4. And then now we have 2x equals 4. Just divide 2 across. And you're going to get x equals 2. That one's done. Now moving on to number 8. Here we have something a bit different. Now we have 24 over x plus 2 equals 6. So just like the other fraction question, we now want to always clear the fraction. So the first thing I would recommend is to firstly multiply everything by what's at the bottom. In this case, it's x. So let's times x across. 
If you do that, you're just gonna be left with 24, and the next two next two things are gonna have a plus 2x and then equals 6x, just like this. Okay, and now just like the rest of the questions, let's go ahead and move all the x terms on one side. Well, so if I, if I move plus 2x across, it becomes minus 2x. 6x take away 2x is 4x. That means you've got 24 equals 4x. Now finally, just divide the 4 across and you're left with 6 equals x. And that's it, or x equals 6. Now, let's move on to number 9. Now, as, the, as always, let's clear that fraction, yeah? So let's multiply 11 across. Now, if you don't know, if you don't know what 41 times 11, you could do what I did. Just do 41 times 10 and 41 times 1. And they'll both give you 410 and 41 each. And if you add them together, you get 451. Now, therefore, in that equation, if you times 11 across, you're going to get 451 minus x equals, and if you times 35 by 11, 385. So just like that. And now just do the same thing. Let's move the number terms to the left and x terms to the right. So let's move plus 385 across. That becomes minus 385. So you have 451 take away 385. If you move minus x across, it becomes just plus x. So that's it, x. And therefore, the result is going to be 66. Now, let's look at the final question of today, yeah? And this time, I'll, I'm going to introduce two brackets to the question. So this is kind of one of the more tougher ones, yeah? And I think this is worth looking at. So here we go. So for number 10, we got two times in the first bracket, x minus three, and then minus, and you have a new bracket. It is times x minus two equals five. Now the very first thing you guys wanna do is always expand that bracket, yeah? It's always important to just open up and then make sure you did, you move the signs right. So let's do it. If you do two times x minus three, you're gonna get two x minus six. Now be careful with the second one. You got minus outside the next bracket. When you have a negative sign outside a bracket, you flip the signs when you open it. So you're gonna get minus x plus two because you've got a double minus makes a plus two. And then right equals five. Now we're gonna firstly tidy up the like, um, collect like terms on the left. So just make it look kind of neat. You got two x take away x is just x. Minus six add two, which is just minus four. So now you're left with x minus four equals five. And finally guys, literally just move that minus four across. So you can get five plus four. And then that means five plus four is nine. So x equals nine. And that's it guys, see, all done, all easy, right? And well, overall, I hope this helps you a lot. So let me know how you feel about these questions. And if you feel you want me to do a, a part two with more harder solving equations, again, let me know and I will literally do my best to get that rolling, yeah? But other than that, guys, have a lovely day. Thank you for watching my whole video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.